explain like I'm five do fish get thirsty fish need water in their lives like everything does because it's essential to life now freshwater fish they don't have much salt in their bodies so they can absorb water through a process called osmosis osmosis is essentially carried out so that there is an equilibrium between the water inside a cell and outside a cell for simplicity let's imagine the skin of a freshwater fish as a wall this wall prevents things getting into it like most walls would However, water likes to go to places nearby that don't have much water. This wall allows water in because of the way water is made, it fits right in and is essentially absorbed. But too much water can kill the fish, so how does a fish stop absorbing water or how does it not become overhydrated? Freshwater fish actually wee a lot. This is to stop them becoming overhydrated and dying so they can keep absorbing more water. Long live pissing fish. Saltwater fish have a lot of salt around them and inside of them, which means they can't really perform osmosis as the salt attaches to the water's atoms to essentially make it bigger. So instead of performing osmosis, they actually drink, which is pretty cool. They open their fishy mouths and just inhale water. Well, not inhale, but you know, drink water. And saltwater fish do urinate as well, so they don't become overhydrated, but they urinate through their gills, which is quite weird if you think about it. On a side note, a man was walking to work one day when his boss drove past him. His boss stopped his brand new car and offered the man a lift to work. The man complimented the boss's new car and told him that he wishes he could have one just like it. The boss replied, well if you keep up the good work, do some overtime and set goals, I can have another one next year. Hey, Hey, thanks for watching, if you've got any spare time why don't you check out my Facebook and Twitter or you can even support me on Patreon, the links are in the description below but if you've got even more spare time why don't you click on that video there because it explains trypophobia and that's a, it's a pretty good one that.